The other day, I don't know if you can tell, I had a haircut. I went to Sean Hanna as per, and this time I was at the mercy of Chris. Chris got to work, and I was totally mesmerised. He spent a bit of time getting used to the shape of my head before deciding how he was going to work, and then when he was familiar with my cranium, I'm going to say he pretty much paid close attention to almost every individual hair. I could have watched him work for hours. At one point, he took a step back, and he was looking at me, and he was talking about the blend and getting the symmetry just right, and I just couldn't help but look at him and just think, art is everywhere. I wasn't high. I'm gonna be honest, I struggled a bit this week for inspiration. Didn't know what I wanted to talk about. I worked a lot of days and then there was a film shoot and then I worked again and then I edited Baking with Layton and that was more of a nightmare than it should have been and then I worked a bit more and then I went to Thorpe Park and that last one required an immense amount of creativity on my part. <laughs> And all of that led to me being a bit exhausted, drained, shattered. I'm on my bed right now. Do you know how much effort I'm putting into not just... Fuck it. Can I vlog from here? No. Yeah, you're so demanding. Also, my head is all over the place. I'm thinking about all these different projects that I'm trying to plan. And I just haven't been able to focus. I haven't read a book in weeks. Which is bad when you work in a bookshop. So, Dan, what have you been reading this week? Um, the back of a linguine packet? You can cook it in seven minutes. So, it's nice to be reminded that art and creativity can come from anywhere, at any time, and surprise you, as I was when I had my hair cut. I think, as a people, we can be guilty of being snobby when it comes to art in its various forms. Lord knows I have been. I once went to the Tate Modern and read each card next to every installation about what the artist's vision was and why they used certain materials and how they intended the piece to be read, and I just went, well, that's wrong. That's plain wrong. That's rubbish. However, opinions can change, which is why they call them opinions, probably. Mine definitely did a few weeks ago when I went back to the Tate Modern with my friend Morgan, who loves art, and she spoke about it with such knowledge and passion that my whole thought process about it, my whole appreciation for it, did a complete 160, 180. It was really, really interesting, and I'll definitely think twice in future before I judge someone for liking something that I don't. Morgan taught me that. Then we went back to my house and she took the piss out of me because I like the film Monster-in-Law. Practice what you preach, bitch! Monster-in-Law's fucking brilliant! <laughs>